spirit animal is uh, something that you identify with, kind of your soul but put into animal form. A cat, well, it's kind of like my spirit animal. They're really smart. I like to think I'm smart. They're caring. I like to think I'm caring. And there's a lot of kind of mutual respect that goes around and just a nice companionship situation. So I would say if you don't have a cat, you're probably missing out on something pretty sweet. I just graduated college and I was moving into my first apartment and thought, okay, I'm old enough now to deal with something fuzzy and little running around. I actually met my cats through Petfinder. <laughs> no, it's not like a cat dating site or anything. It's a little newspaper, like a free circular. I called up a lady whose cat had just had a litter and chose a girl cat named Tess. Brought her home, she was adorable, my friends loved her. And then I got a call from my friend Martha who said, have you seen this week's pet finder? And I looked in it and there was another litter of cats who looked identical to Tess. So then I went up and picked up her brother James. My cats do funny things all the time. James is so sweet. Uh, if, if you play with his little fishing pole toy, he will endlessly go after that little fish, and it's a riot. Same thing with the cat laser. They love those things. They have crazy for them. Tess likes to, if you put out a pair of flat shoes, she will put her feet in them which is the cutest thing ever, almost like she's putting them on and then she'll roll around in them. My cat, uh, on a daily basis, makes me feel pretty happy. Also makes me feel very sleepy. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this. Anytime I'm sitting or laying on the couch, all I have to do is just kind of pat the couch and the cats will come running immediately. And they get right in your face and they purr and I swear to you, it just puts me to sleep. Um, so they obviously make me feel very relaxed, very comfortable. Um, they make my house feel like a home when I get there. I definitely feel like these cats are my kids. I care for them because they care for me. We both give each other something, so I feel very protective of them. My cats fight sometimes, but I feel like it's all in good fun, a little bit of friendly wrestling or such, uh, and if it ever gets too intense, I'm usually able to break it up. And they just paw at each other, you know. Some little nips here and there, but I feel like for the most part, they love each other and they know. They do support me. Um, you know, because at any time I come home, they're there for me. They, you know, even if I've had a bad day, I can pet the couch, I'll jump up on the couch, and I can even tell them about it if I want to. <laughs> they're so kind because they just sit there and listen. <laughs> My cats do have a couple of rituals. Um, in the morning, as soon as it's time to get up, they run to the back door and I let them out. They're indoor, outdoor, they're very good about it. Um, and then it's like they can sense when I'm about to leave for work. They will jump up on the door and you'll just see their little claws in the window to be let back in. And the same thing at night, when I come home, I let them out and again, it's like they can sense that I'm about to go to bed and they will jump up on the window and let me know, and then they will lead me back to the bedroom. 
they sleep in my bed. They've never, they've never opted to go anywhere else. Um, they jump up with me. One likes to sleep on my head. The other one will get in the little nook. You find that you'll start sleeping to make the cat comfortable. It's not like about you anymore. It's kind of like, okay, how do I arrange myself so that the cat is okay? I would do anything for my cats. Um, if one of them got sick and they've done this before, you know, it's, it's like having a child. You immediately, whatever you can do, you'll authorize. Um, and I know some people maybe don't have cats will say, why are you, you know, why are you doing this? Why are you putting out so much effort with this cat? It's like, it's a member of my family. So for people who aren't cat lovers or don't think that cats are very affectionate, I would say you've just got to give it a little bit of time. Um, how affectionate are you with a stranger? You know, it just takes a little bit of time for the cat to get to know you and you kind of have to earn its respect. But once you do, you're golden. You will have lifelong affection. They're just smart. They just know, they know what they want. They know how to get it. Um, if I let them out and call their name, they will come running. They know when it's time for bed. They tell me when it's time for bed. Um, they tell me when it's time to eat. Um, and they don't play a lot of games about it. I definitely think they're intellectual.